Yes, friends, just finished kickboxing. Had an ice bath this morning, feeling sharp, baby. And in today's video, I want to talk, continue this series on about simple methods to make you feel better, all right? And in today's video, I want to talk about stopping the hate on other people. Um, so let's first talk about the funny unconscious feeling that it, it, so it kind of feels good to give people shit. And the reason that that, that, that that is, is because by pushing people down, it feels like our self-esteem is rising up, right? If you've got low self-esteem, it feels like pushing other people down makes you feel a bit higher, which could be could be a thing. And this particularly happens when you see perhaps two guys going for the same girl, the, the lower status guy will always try and put down the other dude, thinking that's gonna make him seem higher level. It doesn't work though. You're putting negative energy in, and the funny mindset thing about sexual attraction that works actually in the opposite, but uh, that that's one of many examples. Um, and I wanna talk, to, talk about what you can do differently, okay? Realize that if you're putting out that negative energy, it's gonna come back at you because you are actively looking for negative shit in the world. Now, it's a natural thing, I get that. You've gotta actively work against it. The reason we do that is because it's easier to give someone shit than be better, okay? Because let's talk about, say, two dudes going for the same girl, all right? Um, the, the lower status dude is gonna try and give the other guy shit because it, it's easier to do that than to say, ah, oh, that guy's getting more attention. He's more attractive in whatever way. He's maybe just for this one girl. I can use this motivation to make me better. How, what have I got to do to be more, be more attractive, be more successful, be a happier dude, whatever. It's easier just to give him shit than to go home and do the work and to miss out on getting the girl or your partner or the, the, the job offer, or if the other guy's better, whatever it is, right? It's easier to do that. And we're naturally, we're gonna go back to our comfort zone, like humans do, right? you know, it's normal but it's shit, it doesn't work, right? It makes you feel worse, and that's the motivation I want to get to you to change this, okay? So let's talk about a few ones, that common ones that humans do. Politics, we love giving shit to politicians. Love it, love it. A politician does something good, they'll get a few claps, a few pats in the back, but they do something, anything else, half the people are always gonna hate politicians, always, okay? Politicians are always getting shit. So realize how much nuts it takes to be a politician, okay? Someone can truly go into politics to wanna to help the poor, for example, and they make decisions and then the rich people will say, well, that was a fucking stupid financial decision, or vice versa, yeah? Not only that, anything naughty you've done in your life is gonna come out in public. So realize you're gonna get so much shit, everyone's gonna hate on you. Uh, it's not a fun time, right? So it takes nuts to be a politician. So in, applaud their nuts. People are gonna make mistakes. They're gonna make mistakes, you make mistakes. Get it, nothing's gonna be perfect. It doesn't mean that, you know, you can give them, you can let them know if they make a mistake and why, that's productive. If you're gonna go, but if you're gonna be talking shit behind their back, who does it serve? Who does it serve? You can go out in the streets and rally, that's being productive, or go be a politician. If you really think they're shit, go do it. Stop fucking around, go do it. Otherwise, talking shit about it just makes you feel worse. It makes the person you're speaking to feel worse. It's negative energy, right? It doesn't work for anyone. Um, let's talk about another one, sportsmen. In particular, I think about UFC fighters. It's easy when someone loses a few fights to start rubbishing them and say, oh, they were never that good anyway. But the sort of person who says that sort of shit is the sort of person who would never get into the ring, right? Never have the courage to do it. But more than that, realize how much nuts it takes. And this is after reading the book Turning Pro by Stephen Pressfield about going from amateur professional, giving everything for your passion. Realize how much nuts it takes to give everything for one purpose or passion, right? How much nuts that takes. Because in going after that one thing, let's say UFC fighter, let's say 25 years, you might start at 10, uh, let's say 20 years, and at 30 you might get a title shot. You might give everything for 20 years and you might get two title shots in two years and you might lose them both. Because at the back of your mind, when you're giving everything, there's the, the knowledge that I might give my all, really my heart and my soul, and it might not be good enough. Now whether that is UFC fighting or your chosen sport or your passion is writing or dancing or singing or your business, you might give everything and it might not be good enough. And in this book, he's, what, he's, what Stephen Pressfield is talking about is that you've, that's part of it. There's gonna be failure. That's actually the growth you need to get up. But how much nuts that takes, right? I've never, ever in my life given everything to, to one thing. And it's sort of also driven me to realize that the reason some people say, I wanna find my purpose or passion, I want to fall in my lap because I don't have to work for something anymore and risk the failure. I want to find this thing that drives me and motivates me. I don't need to work anymore because it just drives me through it. That's not how this shit works. You've got to put in the, the, have the courage to go after one thing and give up on all the other shit because in that, in the failure, you learn to be better and, and, and that becomes passionate for you because you put passion into it. <clears throat> but back to the main point. If you're putting out negative energy, it's going to come back at you because you're looking for negative shit in the world. The same as the video I said yesterday, Choose to find the positive. It's not easy. It's natural for us to go the easy option to give shit, 
but you put a bit of effort into it and you feel better. If you're one of those people who's always, and I've been there before myself, why is my energy so low? Why is my mood always so bad? Why don't people want to hang around me? Because you're being a negative motherfucker. You always put out negative shit. No one wants to be around that and it comes back at you. So you put in the work and it will come back and reward you. You put in the work, people want to be around you. You put in the work, it feels better to be you, okay? Just consider it. Find one area in your life that you're rubbishing people. Realize, find, post below. Tell me how it's making your life better to rubbish someone. Tell me how it's making your life better and prove it to me. I don't think you can, honestly. And then just shift it. Consider finding, finding, keyword finding, good shit about them. Consider finding good shit about the politician. Consider finding how hard that person's worked, even if you don't like them. Find the positives and notice how your life improves, and that should be your motivation.